Validation can be viewed as a daunting task by many companies. We're all told at conferences and in classes that all these various pieces have to be carefully scrutinized and tested. We're directed to include a multitude of things and they all seem to vary from presentation to presentation. It's difficult to determine what scope of what should be done and even worse, where to begin all of these efforts. You may worry about whether or not you're including the right things and how much validation is really enough. All these answers are really up to you as the user. The bottom line should always be that your validation is focused on ensuring the system is meeting your intended use. First, you need to determine what your requirements are for the system. Uh, secondly, make sure you've qualified your system provider. Uh, they should have some requirements for you. Uh, for example, they may provide you with minimum server requirements. Third, perform a risk assessment. Identify the areas that may require additional attention. Fourth, develop a plan that defines the process you're going to use, the responsible parties, and when it's acceptable to continue on in your plan. Fifth, develop your qualification protocols to test the requirements you've specified within your requirements specification documents. Six, execute your protocols, noting any deviations you encounter. You'll need to address each of the deviations found by either accepting them as is or by making some changes to your system. Don't forget to document all of this, including any retesting completed. Seventh, once you have executed all of your protocols and addressed any deviations, develop a final report. This could just be a brief summary of what was encountered during the validation, referencing your deviations, and to be sure to include a statement releasing the system for use. This could also be a separate release memo. Eighth, Throughout the process, you should ensure that documents are reviewed by the appropriate people and signed indicating their approval.